Hello and welcome to Shamrock Rovers Fan TV. Now today I have my match reaction to Shamrock Rovers 6, Waterford 1. The first half was very crazy because for the opening 40 minutes it wasn't a completely open game as both teams were defending well. Rovers were going a bit more at it and Waterford were happy just to sit back and then try to get us on the counter attack. But some quick goals just before the second half, um, before the first half ended was, it was crucial for the game because... Maybe if any of them goals didn't happen, it, it could have stayed nil nil. But I'll go over the games. Um, I'll go over the goals. Sorry, in a minute. But I think it was a good performance. Whatever did play well. It's just we were completely the better side. Now on a squad we played for the game, and um, there was only one change. Danny Lafferty still wasn't on the bench or even in the squad. Neil Frugia did play, and Frugia played well, so he probably will keep his place. For the next game against Dundalk. Now Dylan Watts came in for Gary O'Neill. Who Gary didn't have the best games against AC Milan. But he did do alright. Um, I was surprised about that. But I think it worked well. Dylan Watts had some great runs. And did very well. Um, I think the defence wasn't really going to be changed. Maybe Joey O'Brien coming in. And the attack wasn't going to be changed. The wingers and the striker. That wasn't going to be changed. But then... The centre mid I didn't think would be changed and I got that wrong in my match preview but it was and Dylan Watts came in and did a fantastic job. Aaron Green opened up the scoring 40 minutes in from a bad ball from the Waterford player and Aaron Green picked it up and it was a beautiful finish. The keeper did get a hand to it but it was very nicely shot and into the back of the net. Just two minutes after Roberto Lopez made it 2-0 from a great header from a great ball from Jack Byrne into the back of the net. It was a super goal and that goal was crucial for the game. And again, two minutes later, Lee Grace with a free header right into the back of the net. It was a super goal. Just, he wasn't marked, so people probably wouldn't rate it as highly, but it was still a super, super goal and another great ball in. And only about seven minutes in, into the... Second half, Jack Byrne made it 4-0 and it wasn't even much into the game. It was a great ball from Ronan Finn. It wasn't a great header, but then it came out to Jack Byrne who put it into the back of the net and it was a good, neat finish. And 59 minutes in, the birthday boy, Graham Burke, makes it 5-0. It, it was, it was mind-blowing that it was, the score was that big. It was great work done by Neil Ferrugia to give it to... Greenberg and Greenberg, it was a nice finish. It wasn't a bit like the Jack Byrne one, but it was neat, just like the, the Byrne one goal. Um, I was delighted for Greenberg. That's his sixth goal of the season after five goals against Cork. So his first one since that Cork game. Well, Waterford did get one back, and it was a great cross in, and Michael O'Connor right into the bottom corner. It, was, it, it wasn't devastating, obviously, because we were so far ahead. But it would have been great to keep a clean sheet as we do have some great defence. Just when you fall asleep for one minute, there's some they have some very good players. Tyreek Wilson, Michael O'Connor, Ali Cute. So once once you give them time, they're going to score. It was a good effort from Alamanis to try and save it, but it was very well shot. And 90 minutes in, we got sixth goal, Dean Williams. I was absolutely delighted for him because it was his first goal for Rovers in a competitive game i don't think he scored for rovers two yet but he has been doing well for them did really well in the preseason friendlies so i was delighted for him because he's very young it was a great goal saw the space in between the keeper's legs and great shot now for my man of the match i give it to roberto lopez i thought he had a very good game and did very well and he's been playing super the last couple of games so i think I think he deserves to get it. Now there's some honourable mentions for every single player because every player did well, but I thought Roberto Lopez did just that little bit better than everyone else, and he's been doing super recently. Against AC Milan was super marking his last time he fish out of the game. Um not completely out of the game, obviously it's very hard to mark Zlatan, but he did a great job of it, and he did a great job again against Waterford. Now, the title is right in our hands. We need to keep going. The six games left of the season were eight points ahead of Bowes. If we win our next four games, 
like thinking if Bowes win all their games and win our next four games, we've won the league. So we need to keep going. Um, and I'm sure Stephen Bradley will be motivating the players as much as he can because they need to keep their head focused because we can't we can't drop back that little bit. We still have to play Dundalk, who haven't had the best of seasons, but they're still a super team and they could punish us badly if we don't play as well. So we need to keep going as we do every single game. Come on, the hoops!